Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Forgotten City, part 34. And we are here in the cistern, and we need to find our way to the upper part, but I believe we have found it, and it is right here. We had to shoot the boat in order to climb up here, and that's what we're going to do. And I've gone through this bit before, but my, shist, my system shut down down so i had to replay it and this is where we're at now but let me show you there is some stuff in the, the water here if we swim down there are a few statues a young roman woman throwing up her hands as if to surrender to an unseen enemy we got this statue a roman woman in the middle of disrobing as if she'd been visiting the bods i like that you got this one, a statue of a Roman man holding up one arm. He's either greeting someone or surrendering. And we have this one, a young Roman man posed as if beckoning others to see. But that's that. We're going to get out of this water now. And we're going to... Oh, crap. Wrong button. Right, we're going to get on out of here. And climb the vines. Light this one up. Okay. And we'll go this way. Whoop. Ah. Oh shit. Ah, oh, this first time that happened. We fell down. Okay. Nice. We made it. Wonder who that is. She is strapped, trapped. How oh, she is still alive. Let's go help. It's a fairy rug. Hey. You. This is Scintilla. I'm Alalia. Nobody sent me. And you know you're here. You have to help me escape before that monster comes back. What monster? What's going on here? I'm Scintilla. I found a way yes, out. Yes, that is Scintilla. The horn, but it's locked. So I told him about it, and instead of helping me escape, he locked me up. He wants to keep us all here forever, or until we're turned to gold. He's a monster. You have to let me go so we can kill him and take his key. So this is the monster that awaited us in the cistern, apparently. A humanoid? Who did this to you? How has it this broken the golden rule? I don't know. He said the gods are on his side because they don't want us to escape either. That makes sense. Who did this to you? Sentius, my Ooh. adopted father. Cynthia, help me! I'll castrate and crucify him. Wow! So the guy who sent us on this freaking mission, this loop, the magistrate. Where is the way out? Behind me. There's an aqueduct tunnel bringing water from outside the city, so it should lead us outside. The only problem is it's barred by a heavy locked gate, and he has the only key. Oof. What will you do if I release you? I'm going to take that key from around his neck. Even if it means cutting his throat to get it. I'm done caring about the golden rule. I just want out. Help me. And we I don't blame you. Together. What about the others? There won't be enough time. Just you and me. What do you say? Hmm. What if I round everyone up so they're ready to escape once the golden rule is broken? There's no time. Wait, did you hear that? Uh oh. He's here. Quick, you have to let me go. It's now or never. Hmm. 
I'm sorry, but if I let you go, everyone else is going to die. So we either choose to save her and myself or we choose to let her die or let her stay here and worry about everyone else. We're going to go try to get her out of here and ourselves this time around. So, uh, I'm letting you go. Let's get out of here together. Oh, thank nice. you. Now follow. Wait. Uh oh. Did you hear that? He's here. He must be coming in through the door behind me. You distract him. Stay right here and keep him talking while I look for something I can use. All right, she's off to the side, looking for weapons. Good luck with that. What did you do with Centilla? Where is she? As if I tell you, you're human garbage. You know that. So that is how it's going to be. Oh well, this doesn't change anything for me. It's a shame, really. If you'd just done what you were supposed to, you'd have been looping through time forever until you gave up and killed yourself. Oof. Just like that soft-hearted pleb, Al. <laughs> pleb. And he seems to know about this guy that we knew about in our own time, Al. Like, wait, what? Come now. Surely you didn't think you were the only one here who remembered. You see, my connection to the portal somehow preserves my memories from one room to the next. Whether that was Proserpina's intention or a happy accident, I'll never know. But I'm surprised you hadn't noticed. So he's kind of like Al us. Was thinking you're a little bit sharper than Al was, or perhaps you're just more willing to break the rules. He was a moralistic fellow, never once compromised on his principles. And because of that fatal flaw, he relived this day many thousands of times before we finally had this conversation. I watched him come through the portal each time, always a little older, a little more disheveled, a little more haunted. And when he finally saw the futility of it all, as you're about to, it broke him. He drank a jug of wine, tied a noose around his neck, and took his own life just before he was shot with a golden arrow. Oof. The next time I awoke, you showed up. But you, you've caught up to where he was so quickly. I'd have preferred if you'd given me more time to enjoy the trappings of my success. How many extra days did you give me? Just the three? Not many. But don't worry, I'm sure there'll be another useful idiot who comes along after you're dead. In any case, there's no escape for you except the path that Al took. The path he wrote about on his death. What was it? Ah, yes. Better to end it all now than find out what awaits you beyond that portal. So, you discovered my secret. So what? What Ooh. are you going to do about it? She arrived. And what are we going to do about it? Well, we're going to see about it. So you knew there was a way out and even locked up your own daughter to keep it a secret. Why? Why? Isn't it obvious? Because I have grown attached to all this. My title, my beautiful villa, the sun on my face, the music of birds chirping. And as long as this day keeps repeating itself, I get to enjoy it all, over and over again, for eternity. Don't you see? I have found a we way get to older. prolong my life indefinitely. Well, he stays the to same. Cheat death. I have become, in effect, as immortal as the gods. Can you honestly say you would not wish the same for yourself? So you asked me to figure out who was going to break the golden rule, knowing I would fail every time. Of course, there's no way you could have succeeded. Every soul who has ever found themselves here has broken the golden rule eventually. It is inevitable. Man will always sin sooner or later. Any idiot could tell you this. But where others might see tragedy, I saw opportunity. As I told you the first time we met, I found a way to cheat death. By reliving the same day over and over again forever. And I will continue living long after you. Hmm. Let's see you cheat your way out of this, huh? Do you really think you could 
take on a Decurion with that flimsy little bow? Mm, maybe. I probably could, but I'm gonna let her have it. Scintilla? <laughs> yes. Where is she? I'm right here, father. You idiot. <laughs> what did you get? Burn him. Nice. The many shall oh, no. suffer for the sins of the one. Come on, we have to go. Hey, what's uh -oh. happening to you? That light, it, it's so bright. Time paradox. So we killed him. So there's our paradox. Talk to Al. Oh, current day. Maybe. Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fray. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Hey, Al. Alworth? I came in here to find you. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Um. I'm Alele, and I was hoping you'd know who I am. Funny you should ask. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, trying. My Latin is kind of rusty, but the last entry mentioned someone with the same name. Me? It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the shrine of Proserpina. Freed an imprisoned woman named Centilla, who then murdered her captor, breaking some kind of ancient law. It said the attack caused golden statues to come alive, hunting down everyone in the city and turning them into gold. Apparently, the only person to survive was Santilla. And not me. The stranger disappeared in a flash of light. Actually, that was me. Uh, what? You're saying you were here 2,000 years ago. I, I'm not sure I understand. When I first arrived here in the present day, I found your corpse hanging from a noose. Uh, I'm sorry, come again. I still have the suicide note you carved into this tablet. Here. Um, let me see that. God, why does this writing look so familiar? I've spent a lifetime in this place going around and around in circles. This is... Uh, this is disturbing. But I don't understand how I could have written it. It was written by a different version of you. A change the past and your fate. I, uh, I'm not far. I helped Scintilla kill the man who opened a time portal and drew you back in time, preventing it from ever happening. So you're saying, because a man from 2,000 years ago is dead, he never created a time portal, so I never went through it, and that's why I don't remember any of this. Now you're getting it. I guess you saved my life then, as well as helping that poor woman to escape. That's a lot to take in. Yes. Enough talk. How about we get out of this place? Maybe we can escape through the same aqueduct Santilla used, if we can find it. It's right here in the cistern. Follow me. All right. This is uh, all new to me. System shut down midway through this conversation. So uh, follow me. Nice. And we will do that in the next part. I will catch you guys then.